Now, row two is the next punctuation mark, which is a colon. This is what it looks like. It says, we can use a colon in these ways. A, we use a colon to introduce a list of items. We want to add a list of items to what we're saying. We use a colon to introduce it. We use a colon to introduce a list of items that add, see I circle this so you can highlight, that add to what was said in the first part of the sentence. We also use a colon to introduce information that explains, you can highlight this as well. We also use a colon to introduce information that explains what was said or described in the first part of a sentence. Now the difference, these two are, uh, these two rules are almost identical. The difference between them is here we're introducing a list of items adding to the first part of the sentence. Here we're introducing a list of, uh, here we're introducing information rather explaining the first part of the sentence. Here we're adding to the first part of the sentence. Here we're explaining the first part of the sentence. Now let's see the examples. For adding, Introducing a list of items adding. It says, we bought four things for the jumbo sale. A lamp stand, a rattan bookcase, a porcelain vase, and a clock. See, this is the first part of the sentence, right? We bought four things for the jumbo sale. Now, I want to add a list of items to, uh, uh, to this first part. The list of items are... The four things, the four things that I bought at the jumbo sale. To introduce that list, I use a colon, see? And then I start my list. A lamp stand, and so on and so forth. Now, before the end, of course, I use only and. I don't use comma and and, please. Now, B, to explain the information stated in the first part of a sentence, Example, I have a question to ask you. I have a question to ask you. This is the first part of my sentence. I use a semicolon to introduce extra information explaining this question. I want to explain the question that I have to ask you. To introduce it, I use a colon. Now, let me explain this question. Why has your work improved so much? Question mark, see? Now, this is my explanation of the question that I have to ask you, introduced by a colon here. Another example will be, finally, Ben came to a decision. Finally, Ben came to a decision. Now, this is the beginning part, the first part of my sentence, right? Now, to explain this decision that Ben, uh, to explain this decision that Ben, sorry, that Ben came to, I introduced with a colon, he would resign from the firm. This is the decision Ben came to. And to explain it, I introduced it with a colon. Now that's it for columns. We go to the next one, the use of semicolon.